Rome has nearly 1,000 churches throughout the city, and one of them has a machine dating from the 17th century, and that's where we find Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley. Inside Chiesa del Gesù, the first church of the Jesuits, every day at 5.30, a spiritual show begins. Lights turn on, a voice projects loud through speakers hidden in the church's ceiling. And attention turns to this altar, where Jesus is seen giving the flag of his mission to St. Ignatius, painted by Jesuit brother Andrea Pozzo in 1695. Jesuit father Jean-Paul Hernandez is an art theologian at the church. St. Ignatius of Loyola is the founder of the Jesuits, and he wrote an itinerary um, uh, a spiritual path to allow each one to come more in intimacy, in a deeper intimacy with the Lord. Visitors listen attentively as the narrator begins to tell the story in Italian of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, who is buried at the altar just below the painting. Well, all this movement comes slowly down at a certain time, which uh, what we call uh, macchina barocca, which is a baroque machine um, with pulleys and ropes. Uh, at that time, it was amazing. And this picture comes down, and what can we see? The statue of the saint, the statue of Saint Ignatius. Visitors are often surprised by the spiritual show. What we see here today is actually a silver-plated stucco copy of the sculpture that dates back to the 1800s. The original that was made of solid silver was melted down by Napoleon's occupying forces back in 1798. Francis, the first Jesuit pope, has visited this church several times, including on St. Ignatius' feast day at the end of July. In Rome, Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly.